Pony Power is the ultimate grassroots organization. Pony Power began in 2000 as a result of um, an identified minor special need with one of my daughters. In researching alternative therapies to address my daughter's needs, I came across therapeutic riding. So I got myself certified, found a stall to rent in Paramus, New Jersey, and someone to donate one horse. Word got out among my clients in our school-based program, and it has blossomed. It's become what is referred to as an oasis in Bergen County that uses horses to help humans. Given the COVID pandemic, as all other organizations have had to adapt. We took our time. We have an at-risk population, so we spent time communicating, finding out what the community needs, understanding our role in our community. And we had to remove for the summer our therapeutic riding to follow strict CDC guidelines. And given the nature of our rider needs, we do need to have physical contact. So in order to continue to provide programming and to, to really enjoy the expansive farm that we have now, We've expanded our ground-based program, which we use for schools and for our summer extended program. And that includes our horsemanship, learning how to care for a horse, taking care of our small animals, enjoying the trails around the farm, which are nature-based and fully accessible. I'm sitting in the farm in the forest, which we built out to create a food production garden that would be a caring education and sharing garden and highlight the fact that there is no waste in nature. So I'm sitting on a stump that came from one of our trees. We built an outdoor classroom. The whole farm is accessible. We have raised beds that were built by staff and by volunteers, pallets that we rescued from garbage and deconstructed and repurposed. And it's really meant to highlight the role that nutrition plays in all of our lives and our health and wellness and our well-being. That tactile and sensory experience is just another additional benefit we can offer our clients to connect us back to our earth, to our, our food source, and to really the rich sensory experience that's in front of us all. Pony Power has spent the past 20 years building up all of our programs, systems, and services, and that includes our donor base, the way we run events, and the way we've structured our budget and annual fund to be really diverse, which is supposed to help you in times of financial ups and downs. And thankfully, we were on financial solid ground rolling into this COVID pandemic. But like every other organization, we've missed events, we've missed revenue. It's a scary time. We anticipate that this is going to be for a little bit. So we are trying to keep our finger on the pulse of what the community needs is comfortable with, what's safe for all. We will continue to offer programming through this, hoping to get back to our purpose and our flagship program, which is therapeutic riding, and to reach our capacity, which is where we were prior to the shutdown. And we really rely on community support during this emergency time. We've polled our community, we've checked with our stakeholders. We feel it in our hearts that we need to be here, both during this pandemic as well as after. Back in 2008 or 9, we were having a volunteer training to help our school-based programming as well as some of our hospital-based programming. And a woman came in to train and uh, really wanted to learn about horses. She was starting to ride and she was starting to learn about the care and couldn't get enough and wanted to sweep everything and shovel everything and groom every horse and really learn about lead walking and then the, the interplay between horses and humans. Um, this is Sue I'm talking about. And uh, one of the days that we were waiting for a school group to arrive and we were already volunteer staff, horses waiting in the ring. And I was having a conversation as I usually do, um, about Pony Power and how, how Pony Power was growing, what would be some natural next steps. And Sue, in her very, very humble and incredibly thoughtful way, said very calmly, I have a little board experience and I'd love to chat with you more about Pony Power and board development. After two hours of chatting, I cannot believe it was two hours that went by and learning about the board and learning about board development and talking about our hopes and dreams for the future, um, Sue responded back that she would love to join the board. 
So we said we would love to have you on the board. And uh, that, was, that was Sue's auspicious beginning. One of Pony Power's pivotal moments in our conversation of how to thoughtfully grow, one of the considerations was the need for an indoor recovered riding arena. Being weather dependent was tricky. It didn't allow us to reach our full capacity. It also excluded a certain population of those who may not be able to be in the elements or couldn't be in direct sunlight. If I were to make, make a, an educated guess, Sue didn't want to have kids that couldn't come if it rained, and she didn't want anyone to miss out if there was a potential that they would benefit from being on the farm. And I, I do believe that was a bit of her motivation, um, and our community has benefited tremendously. The indoor arena went up. It changed our expression of program delivery 100%, and it, it has served us very well. Sue's superpower is her unbelievable ability to make everyone in the room feel like they are the most special person. She can read a situation and whether it's a positive or a negative, there's still a spin and a craft to Sue authentically reading a situation. And if she agrees, you know she agrees 100%. If she disagrees, she may tell you why, but you're still gonna feel good about it. She is the most intelligent, most strategically thinking, uh, warmest, caring and giving person I have ever met. I don't think, I know 100% that there are several people in my life um, that made Pony Power happen and Sue is one of them. Um, she has just been, she's in a partner to be reckoned with and I, I consider myself the luckiest person in the world to have Sue in my life. There are so many things I could talk about um, regarding Sue and her uh, help on the Highline, but I, I really want to just focus you know, the past six months have probably been the most difficult phase or the, where I worried about the future of the Highline more in some ways than in the past 21 years that we've been working on this. And Sue's leadership through that has just been incredible. Her, um, her intuition and ability to help us make the right decisions on operating the Highline as an organization have been incredible. But I also, there's this personal component because what she does, I mean, there's sort of the business side of what she does as, as our board leader, but there's also just the personal support. The support she gives me, gives so many of our employees. I just can't, I can't underestimate that. And I think about, um, when I think of like, what is a perfect board member and what what people fantasize about in board leadership, I don't even think they would come up with all the things that Sue provides. And so I want to thank you, Sue, for everybody involved in the Highline, all the people that are able now to come back up here now that we're reopened. And I wanna thank you personally um, for what you bring to me as you know one of our most important board leaders and also just the friendship that you provide me and my family so thank you sue hi everyone we're here to celebrate the 20th anniversary of pony power and to pay tribute to the person other than of course dana who has meant more to the organization than anyone my wonderful fabulous beautiful wife sue many of you here tonight know sue some of you do not. Sue is the kindest, most caring, most compassionate person with the biggest heart of anyone there is. Sue cares much more about other people than she does about herself. And the more in need someone is, the more Sue cares. So when Sue met Dana and got involved with Pony Power, an organization that exudes the very same qualities, it was a match made in heaven. Sue has helped shape Pony Power into the organization that does more for people in need and helps more people than any place I've ever seen. And Pony Power has helped shape Sue, who is already one of the finest human beings there was, into an even finer one. I have truly come to love Pony Power, and of course, I have always loved Sue. My mother is a caretaker, our family glue, and a woman of integrity a nurturing friend and an eternal optimist. Not only does she see the best in people, but she helps you see the best in yourself. 
highly energetic and profoundly engaging. Sue is an extraordinary communicator. She has a true gift of gab, but her words contain so much substance. My mother engages deeply in her chosen organizations. She uses her time, treasure, and talent to raise the bar. She makes those around her strive to be better, to dream bigger, to look outside the box. And she is loyal, both to the people and causes she loves. It was fate for her to be named Sue Veneer, a souvenir, something that is kept as a reminder of a place or event that holds evidence of special moments. Mom, congratulations on this well-deserved honor. Your love of pony power is inspiring. You continue to set an example on how to commit, connect, and give back in meaningful and rewarding ways. Thank you for being a constant beacon for us all, a reminder of the best parts of life. You are superhuman and we're proud to call you ours. We love you, Mom. What are my sister's superpowers? Tenacity, grit, kindness, thoughtfulness, generosity, influence. She's caring, she's loving, she's strong, and she has a ton of grace. She's tireless, and she's an occasional pain in the ass. She's insightful, strategic, organized, open-minded, and the superpower above superpowers is the teamwork with Dana throughout the years for Pony Power. For my siblings and I, she's quite simply the best sister you could have ever asked for. And for my parents, the most amazing daughter. Susie, thank you for all of your work with Pony Power throughout the years. I remember you calling me on the way to your first volunteer session and afterwards saying what a, what a special place it was. Thank you for introducing it to the family and to so many others. Congratulations, continued success. I love you. Hello, I'm Annie Armstrong Coben, and I'm honored to be here speaking on behalf of our board um, and sharing thoughts about our board president, uh, Sue. And this is an easy lift because I didn't have to clear any of my thoughts with any of my fellow board members as I know that what I will say um, are shared universal sentiments. Uh, Sue's superpower is that she doesn't lead with power. She leads with inclusiveness and collaboration and professionalism and most importantly kindness while always staying true to the mission of Pony Power. When you are with Sue, you are with Sue. She is one of the most present people I know. We all feel it. I'm sure the horses and the ponies do too. Congratulations to our Pony Power board head and board whisperer. Have a great evening. We are thrilled to be able to speak about our amazing friend Sue, but where do we start? Let's start at the beginning. Most people don't know this, but Sue was born in Boston and then many years later met David there. Sue is someone that is selfless, always caring and doing things to benefit others. She is enormously generous and very calm during chaos. Of course she's calm during chaos. Sue is the second of nine Irish children. It was a very rambunctious clan. David always says that if Sue hadn't been the amazing mother that she was and dutiful wife, she would be a CEO of a big, large corporation. Did you know that Sue got her first work experience at the Big Top in Seattle? That was before it became a gentleman's only club. Sue is ethical, maintains high standards, and expects the same in return. Well, that's because she won the prestigious Religion Award in high school. Sue is very grounded and takes her horse and passion for horses to another level. Now, there's a Catherine the Great joke there, but I'm not gonna go there. Sue always sees the big picture and doesn't really sweat the small stuff, but is very detail-oriented. Sue's lived in over 37 countries, but she only speaks English. We are always so impressed by Sue's knowledge and passion for research and the things that she knows. Actually, Sue has two master's degrees, but she had to learn how to make pizza by watching a YouTube video. Sue, in all seriousness, we are so honored and our lives are so much better. And everyone that's watching this tonight could agree that they're so much better because you're in our life. You give, you're generous, and you have a huge heart. Sue, 
I have spent many hours with you when we were looking for apartments, and you never cease to amaze me by how you can psychoanalyze everything I do. But I will say this, and I don't say this about many people, I love you. We love you. We love you. And we're grateful that you're in our life. We support you always, and we love you.